Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about the C++ standard threat library. The C++ language has its own standard threatening library. Today, uh, the lesson is I will demonstrate to you the multi-threading concept in C++ by creating a simple multi-threading council application using the standard thread library. Member functions are join, which is allow you to wait for a thread to finish its execution. Join joinable, which uh, will check whether the thread is joinable or not. Uh, it is potentially uh, running in parallel contacts. Uh, detach, it separates the thread of execution from the thread object, allowing the execution to continue independently. And the method getID, which um, gets the ID of the thread. Okay, so let's jump into Eclipse and demonstrate to you uh, what we can do with the uh, actual threading library. So first off, uh, include thread to create our thread. Include IO stream for standard input output. Include vector okay, for our dynamic array. Include string. Okay. Then declaring using namespace standard. Okay. Uh, I'm going to declare a couple global variables. So double sum one equal to zero. Double sum two equal to zero. I'm going to create a class, sorry, structure for sorting uh, my vector. So struct my class. And I'm going to use the bool operator function. So int i int j okay uh, return i less than j okay and we're going to call this my object okay going to create uh, a vector of int so we're going to going to call it my vector Okay, gonna create a couple of um, tasking routines. So first one is void task one, and in my task one, I'm gonna create. I'm gonna say, okay, task one is uh, starting. Okay, and I'm gonna declare double c equal to zero, and I'm gonna simulate the the length of time it's going to take for uh, the amount of time for this task to complete so I'll use a while loop so while C is less than uh, some big number so let's say two and a half million times okay so uh, yep so two and a half million times it's gonna loop C++ sum one equal to c um, okay and um, when it's completed I can say c out task one is completed and line okay now I'm gonna create task two so which is very similar so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this uh, function. I'm going to rename this to task2. Okay, but uh, I want task2, uh, task1 uh, to complete uh, after task. Uh, yeah, so I want task one to complete after task two. Okay, so I've, I'm going to add an extra zero uh, to this while loop. Okay, to simulate uh, the length of time. So in this case, sum one should be sum two here. Okay, I will create another uh, function, task three, and this function should take. Uh, shouldn't take very long to complete so so task 3 is starting end line 
and it's going to sort a vector, right? A very short list of uh, integer. Ting 66, 46, 39, 72. Okay. Then we could do a standard sort. My vector begin. My vector end. And we're going to feed in my object, which we created up here. So it's going to compare and it's going to do a uh, uh, sort ascending order. Okay. Now in my main, uh, I'm going to create a couple uh, threads. Okay. So we, we do this by saying thread t1 associated with task1, thread t2 task2, thread T3 T3 associated with task 3 and we're going to grab the ID of each thread so we say thread ID ID1 equal to T1 get ID okay and we'll do the rest for the other threads okay so ID2 ID3 Okay, and so we want to check to see if the thread is joinable, right? So if it's joinable, that means that uh, it's potentially running in a parallel context. So if T1 is joinable, then we want to say T1 join, okay? So waits for a thread to finish its execution then we can say see out t1 id equal to id1 okay if t2 is joinable then we say t2 join and print out the uh, thread id If T3 is joinable, then we uh, do T3 join and we're going to print out the thread ID. And uh, we also want to sort out, do basically loop through the uh, vector that we just sorted. Okay, and then print out each item in the vector. Okay. Then last but not least, print out the sum. Sum one equal sum one. Sum two equal to sum two. Okay. Let's save this program. Compile. Ooh, so I left out something here. I should say my vector. I misspelled it. Okay, so let's go to our terminal and see the result from this program. So CD to debug and execute the program. So you can see that uh, task 3 apparently completed first, right? That's the uh, uh, less, intensive, less intensive task. Task 2 completed uh, second and task 1 completed last because task 1 uh, went through a lot more than Task 2.
okay and at the very end uh, you know for task 3 it actually print uh, the items in the vector uh, the sorted vector and then finally we print out the sum right but all three uh, tasks were executed concurrently okay so this is a quick tutorial um, on how we can use the thread the C++ thread library to create a multitasking uh, multitasking um, application so if you like this uh, video, please subscribe to my channel. And thank you very much for watching. See you next time.